Dito sa video na to, uh, i-discuss ko yung measures of central tendency for group data with the first measure of central tendency which is the mean. So for the mean, yan yung formula natin. So mean, yan yung symbol for the mean, x na may bar, is equal to the summation of fx or the frequency and the midpoint all over n, where n is the number of samples. So para mas makita nyo kung paano ginagamit yung formula, let's have an example. So eight selected randomly light bulbs were tested to determine their lifetimes in hours. The following frequency distribution was obtained. So yan yung frequency distribution nung lifetimes nung light bulbs. So meron dyang class boundaries together with the frequency. So how do we find the mean? So first is to get the midpoint. So paano po kinukuha yung midpoint? So using the class boundaries, or pwede rin naman kung class intervals yung given, pwede nyo makuha yung midpoint doon by adding that two limits. So, di ba, merong 52.5 dyan and 63.5. I-add mo lang yan. Then, you divide it by two. So, 52.5 plus 63.5 divided by two. So, that will be 58. So, we have here 58 sa unang midpoint. So, same goes with the other one. Like this, 63 tsaka 74. So, ganun ulit. I-add mo lang 63.5 plus 74.5. So, divided by 2. So, you will have 69. Okay? And then, sa mga kasunod, kung makapansin nyo, 11 yung gap nyan. So, kahit itry nyo yan na ina-add ulit or divide, add and divided by 2 or mag-add na lang ng mag-add ng 11. Uh, same thing lang yung mangyayari. So if we add 11 here, this will be 80. And then the next one will be 91. And then 102. And then 113. So yan na yung mga midpoint natin. Okay, so again, i-add nyo lang yung dalawang limits and then you divide it by Then next is fx. So kung may kita nyo yan, f times x yan. So i-multiply nyo lang ito. Lahat. So multiply nyo lang 6 times 58, 12 times 59, 25 times 80, and so forth and so on. So kung multiply natin yan, 6 times 58, 348. Then 12 times 69, 828. Then, 25 times 80, that will be 2,000. And then, 18 times 91, that will be 1,638. Then, 14 times 102, that will be 1,428. Then, 5 times 113, that will be 565. So, nakuha na natin yung next column, which is Fx or Fx. Frequency times midpoint. So, last step will be to add everything dun sa Fx na column. So, you add 348 plus 828 plus 2000 plus 1638 plus 1428 plus 565. So, you will have 6807. So, By the way, ang total nito will be 80 since sinabi doon na 80. Or you can check 6 plus 12 plus 25 plus 18 plus 14 plus 5. That will be 80. So ngayon, nakuha na natin yung uh, mga dapat ilagay sa table. So since nagawa na natin siya, we can now proceed to the solution. So again, the formula is summation of F x all over n. 
So kung babalik ka yung table kanina, yung summation, meron na doon. Yun yung total doon sa last column, which is 6,807. So we divide it by 80, or yung the total number of frequency, or yung total number ng samples na nandun. So if we divide that, 6,807 divided by 80, so we will have 85. 0.09 kapag ganyan round off. Or 0.875 yan. That's how you get the mean. Yun lang siya. Okay? So let's have the second one or what we call the median. So di ba kung maaalala nyo doon sa central tendency for ungrouped data, yan is the middle most middle most data na meron tayo. So, we have that formula. So, mamaya mas papakita ko yan kung paano siya ginagamit. So, let's have first the table. So, yan yung table kanina. So, for the median, kailangan mo tong CF or the cumulative frequency. So, paano ginagawa yung cumulative frequency? So, the first entry, you just copy the first frequency which is 6. Tapos yung 6, i-add mo dito sa 12. Okay, so you have 18. Tapos yung 18, i-add mo naman dito sa nasa baba niya, 25. So 18 plus 25, you have 43. Then ganun ulit, 43 plus 18, kasi 18 yung kasunod, you have 61. Then 61 plus 14, you have 75. Then lastly, 75 plus 5, you have 80. So para ma-check mo kung tama yung pagkaka-add mo, dapat magmamatch tong N tsaka yung number dito sa last entry. Okay. So ngayon, after doing that, you will now get what we call the median class. Okay. So paano kinukuha yung median class? Alam natin na 80 yan. So, di ba, since middle most yung kinukuha natin, let's say you have 80 samples. So, kunin mo yung gitna nun. Paano? By just dividing it by 2. Di ba, pag dinivide natin yung sa 2, makukuha natin yung gitna. So, dividing it by 2, you will get 40. Okay? So, para kung ungrouped data kasi yan, yung 40th data mo, tsaka 41st, dun natin makukuha yung median. Diba? Yung gitna ng 40 at saka 41st kung meron kang 80 na samples. Pero since this is group, tsaka kung makapansin nyo, yung group, naka-highest to lowest na din yan. Kasi, di ba yung boundaries nyo, pataas ng pataas. So, naka-arrange na siya. So, yun yung purpose nung CF. Yung CF, doon natin may kita nasaan kaya yung 40th data. So, may kita nyo, nandito siya sa third row. Yan. So, yan yung magiging median class natin. Since kung titignan nyo, 43 yung CF dyan. Ibig sabihin, yung first 43 data mo nandyan sa boundaries na yan. Nasa between 74.5 to 85.5. So, tandaan nyo yung mga details na nandyan sa uh, row na yan since yan yung gagamitin natin to solve the median of this group data. Okay, so, paano natin isosolve ngayon yung median nung group data na ito? Okay, so kung i-recall natin yung formula, ang formula is the median just equal to the lower true class boundary of the median class plus n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency before the median class all over the frequency of the median class times the interval. So, kung titignan nyo yung data kanina, 
kung babalikan niyo yung table, ang lower true class boundary doon, balikan natin yung table, ha? eto, 74.5. Tapos, frequency doon ay 25. CF before doon, before nung median class ay 18. So, yan yung mga kailangan nyo. Okay, and the interval of course is 11. Pag binilang nyo dito yung interval, ang interval natin ay 11. So using that given, meron tayong 74.5 plus n over 2 is 40. Kasi kalahati yun ng 80. Minus the cumulative frequency before the median class, so that will be 18. All over 43. Then multiplied by the interval which is 11. Wala kayong calcu, pwede nyong i-manual. Ito muna ang first step pag minusin nyo. And then you divide. Ito yung second step. Third step is to multiply dito. And then the last step, itong addition. Pero kung kakalkuhin natin, get 80.13. So that will be the median of this group data. Oh, so lastly, we have mode. So yung mode, yun naman yung most frequent, pinaka madaming beses na ulit na data. Okay? So paano natin yun i-apply sa group? So yan yung formula. I will explain it later. So doon pa rin tayo sa Table. So, wala ka lang inadagdag sa table. Yan na siya. But provided na you get the modal class naman. So, kung yung kanina may median class, eto modal class. So, how do we get the modal class? Since again, by definition, ang mode ay most frequent, kunin natin yung most frequent dito. So, kung may kita nyo, eto pa rin yun, yung third row. Since yan yung may pinakamalaking uh, frequency sa lahat ng row. So, paano natin isasolve ngayon yung mode? Una is to get the difference. May dalawang difference ka na makukuha dyan. Okay, so kung babalikan ko yung table, ito ang kailangan nyo. 25 minus 12, yan yung isa. And then ito, 25 minus 18. Yan yung kailangan nyo to get the differences. So, again, ito yung frequency dun sa modal class minus frequency before it. So that will be 25 minus 12. 12 yung before dun eh. That will be 30. Yung isa naman, frequency of the modal class minus frequency above naman sa kanya. So 25 minus 18, that will be 7. So ngayon, gagamitin nyo na yan to get the mode. So... LTCB of the modal class. So, kailangan mo ulit yung lower true class boundary. Then, multiplied by D sub 1, D sub 1 plus D sub 2 times I. So, kung maalala nyo, ang true class boundary doon ay 74.5. Plus, differences. Ito na siya. So, 13 over 13 plus 7 times 11 yung interval. So again, pwede nyo ulit i-calcu yan. Tulad ng kanina, ito yung first step nyo. I-add nyo. And then second is to divide. Then you multiply here. And then you add here. So ganyan siya. Ngayon, kung may calcu naman kayo, natin yan, the answer will be 81.65. And that is the mode for the this group data. Okay? So for your activities, you just answer activity 1 and activity 2, item 1 to 5. And this will be the Google link, Google form link that you will use para ipasa nyo yung assignment nyo. Then if you have questions, you can comment here sa video na to or you can message me. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.